Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Dreadhorde Control. It's been a little bit since we played this deck, uh, but this is a deck that I like. We're going to be doing just a bunch of rank stuff today, I guess I should say that. Um, we have four decks that you see on the left-hand side. We're going to try them all out in ranked. Haven't done ranked in a little while. Uh, we're still in uh, Platinum, the place that they put you after Mythic. We're still in there. I think Platinum, is that correct? To go Platinum, then Diamond? Yeah, so we're still in Platinum. So we're going to try to get out of Platinum, get into Diamond today, and on our way to Mythic. We'll see how it goes. Uh, the one big change that I'm making with the, this deck since the last time we played it is I'm going to try Liliana in the 6-drop slot instead of Command the Dreadhorde. Command the Dreadhorde's like, oh, it's been okay, but for the most part it's been, for 6 mana, a lot of time like your hand's kind of empty after that and it's been just like amassing just a, a small amount and drawing two cards and Liliana can just have a huge huge impact on the on the game so I'm going to try this card instead um but yeah I'm not you know this is of course a Dreadhorde Invasion deck I'm not like super sold on Dreadhorde Invasion in general um but I absolutely love Enter the God Eternals this card's incredible um, Kefnet is amazing. Yeah, let's, let's just kind of give it a try, see how this deck's feeling these days. Um, I think that this deck is better against a mono red than, like, Grixis is because of, like, your mana base being able to play a lot of islands and swamps. You get, get a lot of basic lands. Um, so I think it, it can still have, like, some okay game against, like, the control decks. I like, you know, how we have the Unmored Egos against, uh, Nexus, for example. I'm not sure how this deck will fare against like Bant Midrange, which is like a really popular deck these days. You know, just haven't played it quite yet. So let's let's go and get to the games and see how it's doing these days. It looks like last time I played, I was playing that Soltai deck on here. Hey, what's up, Storm? One bar away from ascending. Oh, you're so close. Wow, that's really unlucky. I think earlier today, the opponent explored a negate to the top of the deck and then activated Vivian's Arc Bow for two because they needed a threat to kill the Sarkin. And the second card was Merfolk Branchwalker. The first card was negate. Wow, that's really unlucky. I'm not sure if I'd keep this on the draw, but on, or sorry, on the play. Uh, but on the draw, it's more likely that we'll draw some more lands. You know, we get that extra get that extra draw step to help us hit our our land drops a little easier. Uh, how am I feeling about the current metagame? Is the question. Um, it's there's a lot going on in the current metagame. Yeah, you got. Aggro, mid-range, control, combo. There's a lot going on. It's it's uh, getting a little harder to attack than what it was like at the beginning of the format. Beginning of the format was just a lot of like Esper and Nexus. And it was easier to attack. But now red and band decks are, are uh, starting to see a lot of play. Need the second blue for the sabotage here. If we already had the two blue out, it would have been like playing the field of ruin. May not have been so bad. Huh. Kinda wanna kill a Lanawar elf. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Oh, 
don't think we really need that. So enter the God Eternal should be quite good for us. Hey, what's up, wild child? Thanks for the Twitch Prime sub there. First of the day. All right, mark that down. First of the day. did have a basic island. That's annoying. Oh, Storm it is not. Thank you. All right, it is now. All right, got really punished for using that Field of Ruin. Cool, got rid of an Oketra. Hey, what's up, Jody? Get that ring, Shorty. Thank you so much for that resub there. All right, yeah, we're we're attacking lifelink. Let's go. About to hit the gym. Heck yeah. Go get that heart rate up. Spark double. Four mana buglers. Ooh, Tristani. I want to mind a ritual set right about now. We got two of them in the deck. That's a good one. It's not a bad one either. Eh, it's, I don't need it. Yeah, I don't need that. So we could shock to hold up Contempt. Didn't really seem too relevant. All right, so if I kill this bugler, then we got a 12-12. And they have 4, 6, 10 power. Ooh, got another Oketra. Now, Dreadhorde Invasion doing its thing. Websites to help fix mana. I don't. 
What you could do is post in the Discord and ask ask people help on the mana base in the Discord channel. Maybe someone can someone can help you in there. I want to keep the sabotage available. So I'm not going to not going to cast the Enter the God Eternals. We'll just have like Contempt plus Sabotage. We have amassed quite the army here. Up to 40. <laughs> this game was close at, at one point. <laughs> yeah, who would win? A bunch, a bunch of banned creatures or a zombie invasion? All right, let's finish this one out. Uh, this this invasion was in play, and so this says whenever a zombie token you control with power six or greater attacks, it gains life link. So that's how it had a life link. Definitely want another cry and another. Ritual. Uh, probably want another contempt as well. Uh, maybe take out a couple narsets. All those cards are definitely good. What am I taking out? I guess I'm taking out two narsets and well, like a chemist's insight. Sabotage? Maybe a sabotage. Sabotage is pretty slow on the draw. So is Insight. Alright, let's try this. Two Narsets and an Insight Down. <laughs> and I love this, this game. They're going to tune their... You know, like, tune their deck to beat control decks now. This is where it's going to get tougher for us. But we got... You know, we're up a game. We just got to win one of these two. So even if we're like an underdog in both of the games, all we got to do is have one of them work out for us. Remember that game, our opponent was on a mold of five. But our sweepers are pretty important. We didn't see any of them that game. Yeah. Even though we got all these islands, we got Ascanta, so I'm, I'm going to keep Ascanta. Ascanta should help us fix our mana. Hey, Chief Seth, good evening. This is why sweepers are so important. They're very reliant on mana creatures. Wow. That didn't work out. Okay. We're getting there. Yeah, we did see a cry of the Carnarium. I 
surveilled it to the graveyard at the time. So they have negate. More black mana. All right, I'm going to trim a Dreadhorde Invasion instead of the Insight. <clears throat> All right, that was not a very good hand. I was really relying on his Kanta in that Night of Autumn. Just wrecked that plan. So um, should probably not do that again. All right, this is a lot better. We can have this Thought Erasure on turn two. I like it. Got good mana. Neoform, Tristani, and Teferi. So I take the Teferi. Keeping Neoform in the deck against the Counterspell deck is a little risky. So, you know, they sacrifice their creature to cast it, and then I just counter it, and their creature's gone now. Also... Tad risky. But I don't want them to just have get the body with Bugler plus, you know, replace itself how Bugler does. Arkbo with a shock. So I'm guessing that means they have counter magic. They could just want to be. They could just want to activate Arcbow for three, though, as well. I'm gonna try the Liliana. That other card is not also a counterspell. 
Your corpse will make an excellent mint. Yes. <laughs> Rise! <laughs> Instant speed creatures are really good against sorcery speed removal, of course. Sarkbow is going to be kind of tough to beat. But good thing we got a Liliana in play. That helps quite a bit. Especially they have like instant speed Oketra with Arc Bow. I don't have any artifact removal in my deck. Ugh. Those were not the best millovers. <laughs> Rise and shine. Because none of those were creatures they could choose with Arcbow. All right, flying creature. That one's going to hit the Liliana. Now, now, don't be pushy. Sabotage just doesn't even matter with Arcbow in play. Attack. It does not have lifelink currently. But it still hits hard. Alright, got rid of a bunch more elite card mages. That's good. So good news is Oketra only gets only triggers whenever you cast creatures. They have to like, you know, cast creatures for that, which means they don't have like the spells for Arcbow kind of thing. Those two cards, Oketra and Arcbow, don't work super well together.
right, let's get this lifelink. but effective. Alright, so the catcher just goes back into the library where they can just grab it again with arc bow. But we gotta do that otherwise... You know, they get to hit the Liliana. Right on schedule. Let's try this. The good news is if they try to activate Arpo for four here, they put the Oketra at the bottom. You know, Arpo for four doesn't grab Oketra. And probably their best hit for four or under is the Elite Guard Mage, which we've milled over a bunch of those. So I feel like if we ultimate Liliana, we're going to be okay. Basically, ultimate Liliana destroys all their lands oh, except I've for done one. The hero thing before. Hmm. I guess it's not so good. They get to activate Arcbow and put. God Eternal Oketra into play. Hmm. Dread Horde Invasion with Divine Visitation. That's pretty interesting. Hey, what's up, Fabian? Thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. So number three on the day. This is hardly my worst defeat. Yeah, I think we beat Oketra with one land. Okay. Looks like we did. We did beat Oketra with one land. I could have defended Liliana there. If if my opponent decided to grab the Oketra and I wanted... Remember, Liliana could still tick up, so I, I still could have made another zombie to, to defend Liliana if I wanted to. Dreadhorn Invasion doesn't work with Divine Visitation because it creates an army token. Is it not like a is that not a creature token? Because it doesn't matter what type of creature you make. Hopefully we're playing against control and Dreadhorn Invasion is really good. Well. So much for that. <laughs> yeah, things could have gone wrong if we ticked up with Liliana and and tried to ultimate the next turn. Things could have gone wrong.
I don't think we really lose against anything by ultimating, so I don't think there's really a reason not to ultimate. I was trying to think, like, what, what they're going to get with one land off the arc bow. Even if they got something that would let them go wide, you know, like a Biogenic Ooze or a Tristani or whatever, they'd, they would only be able to keep one creature. So even if they keep, like, you know, an Aketra or a Biogenic Ooze or anything like that, our double Dreadhorde invasion would have it covered. So I don't think there was really any any reason to like. I think we just win that game by my min by minus ninety. I couldn't really think of like a way that they win. Because we have the double dreadhorde invasion going. Yeah, so they grab the Oketra, and then they have a Llanowar Elf. I don't know. We still have the double Dreadhorde Invasion. That they're going to be 5-5 five, five the next turn, 7-7. Seven, seven. Don't really want to lose life with these invasions. Don't know what they got really got going on over there. Hey, Doom Waffle. Not much, just playing some magic. Well, I mean, if we find, if we draw like Enter the God Eternals and make them like four four, then we can start playing these. So risky to play them. Hey, Aku. Oh, you're welcome, Fabian. Thank you so much. Yes, they could use the Arc Bow in response to the ultimate to get Oketra, but then they just have like Oketra in one land. Which is not very Which Oketra with that doesn't really beat the I think we take this and try to enter the God Eternals the next turn, because we need them to have a creature for us to enter the God Eternals. I'm just basically countering anything. It's a shock land. I mean, it's better than no land. I mean, it could be. We, we could go to... If I go into six here, they may have double bolt. <clears throat> Of course, it's one of our four shock lands in our deck, this being a two color deck. All right, well, there's two targets here, so we'll still gain four life. And make a four four. So that lightning strike. Oh no, we don't gain four life because we don't we don't deal any damage, but we we still make the four four. Um. All right. So we'll see if they have four points of burn. Hopefully not. I'll stay on defense in case they have a, another Lava Runner, a hasty creature. But basically, if they have four points of burn, they'll kill us. So if they have one more point of burn, we're dead. Don't do it, don't do it. But we're so close to winning. We are in danger. We're in the danger zone right now. Okay. I don't think they let us untap and get to counter magic if they had it, so I, I'm pretty sure we're safe. Let's 
really bad for the... <laughs> the opponent should definitely just shock us, because we could have just had a counter spell. Then they just let us draw our card and everything. Oh well. We were so close. That invasion was going to gain six life there. So close to finishing that, that out. All right, let's try this again. Uh, no. I guess the answer... I haven't felt like I've wanted Terramanders in this deck. Terramander is a good card. But... If I, if I would play a card that's just a threat only, I'd rather have Thief of Sanity than Terramander. think they're gonna go really wide like you know they could have legion war boss here and oh my god never mind it's like the, the one card in the format that punishes me for doing that okay well we're making it up making up for it Another light up the stage and a phoenix. Keeping this because I can't really beat Frenzy, and so if they have like a Frenzy in hand, I'm going to want to get rid of it. Now we got five cards over here. No land drop, no land drop. I mean, I guess we have... We have uh, Contempt for Phoenix. So that's not so bad. Dang, they did not attack. I was hoping they were going to attack, of course, because then we could scorn the... Uh, monkeys and they couldn't deal damage to us and turn on the light of the stage, but they didn't. Alright, well, Phoenix is gone. So that's six cards in the graveyard. Almost... Almost flipping this as Kanta. Use my mana better. Use up four of it. Now, even if it's a card we want on top, we can flip as Kanta as well. We'll see if we get Thought Erasure here to take one of the... Ugh. One of the strikes. Nope. I don't think my opponent was stream sniping with that monkey. A 
I think the game stopped at the beginning of their a beginning of combat for them. And because of that, because of it not like F6ing, it's like kind of revealed that I had a spell that I could cast kind of thing. So we can protect the thief with a tyrant scorn. a lot better card to protect a Thief of Sanity with. Make them use both their Lightning Strikes. And stay at 17. Alright, that's fine. It's good for an enter the God Eternals if we find one of those. Cool. As far as creatures go, we have one Kefnet, one Thief left besides what's at the bottom of the library. Land drop. Well, we technically save a life. No, my Kefnet. Ah, Kefnet and two enter the God Eternals. Wow, that was a horrible mill. But still, so the reason why I mill myself instead of mill them is because we have Chemistry's Insight that we could hit, even though I don't think we could anymore. But on their side, I don't want to hit Risk Factor. Risk Factor is the card on their side I don't want to hit. Yeah, they had Phoenix.
play one duress over a sinister sabotage on the draw with us having to be a little faster. But the discard spells are not very good top decks later on, where if, if we stabilize, then the counter spells are just awesome draws. Um, but of course, we have to worry about stabilizing first. I'm glad they're mulliganing. I'd not feel nearly as good of keeping this if they're keeping their seven card hand, but basically keeping this because I really like Ritual Soot. Our deck is filled with two mana cards, so I was hoping with one of our first two draw steps we would find it one of those two mana cards. Between all of our, you know, Thought Erasures and Tyrant Scorns and even us can't uh, anything on the two mana slot. No lands. Dang. That'd be nice if they didn't have a land and couldn't play the Steamkin. Well, but now I'll just take a lot of lands from them. Like them to have lots of lands. Hey, what's up, Soul Farmer? I haven't drawn any spells yet. Can really be a problem. You and I are gonna take them out. Sit back and watch it burn. There's a spell. It's a good spell too. We're done here. Yeah, I don't think... I think Krasis is a fine card to invest in. I don't think it's going to be going anywhere. I think it'll be a, a good card throughout its life in Standard. feel too bad about investing in that one. Must have had just a bunch of lands over there. I was most likely just going to take that damage again and you know, not use the Blast Zone and um, draw a couple more cards. Alright, Dreadhorde Control doing its thing. 2-0. Oh. <laughs> hey, what's up, Noxie? Hand is slow. We just draw a basic land. Any basic land or watery grave. I'll take it. If you don't have rare dual lands, uh, mono white is another one besides mono red. Those are the top two, I would say. Um, 
I'm not a big fan of mono blue these days. With all the little Teferis running around. Um, I don't know, it's like, Canthic says, how do you sideboard with Demir? I don't know what to bring in, it throws me for a loop. I'm not sure, I guess maybe kind of check, like, whenever we're sideboarding, um, just kind of see what we're doing, I guess. I don't really know. Not really sure what to say besides that, I guess. Um... Yeah, uh, you know we just have we have like removal in our deck for for the creature matchups that you know comes on in, and then we have anti spell stuff with like duress negate. For spell heavy matchups. Yeah, no reveal. I don't know. I'm not feeling like re revealing against the second mono red opponent in a row. Ugh. Lava runner. Alright, alright, I'll reveal next time. Ugh. I liked our chances in this game a lot more before that Lava Runner. That Lava Runner was a problem. I want a land drop here now, so we can have double sabotage. So I'll take that. No. No three damage to me. I don't want to take three damage. Alright, we need to finance the God Eternals. Or a counter spell. Really into the God Eternals. Enter the God Eternals. Ugh. Whether to activate is canted now or wait. 
If I wait and they just pass the turn back to me, I don't get to activate it at all. So there's two more sabotages in the deck, so I have two more counter spells. That they have a burn spell, we need to find one of those two. Dang. Alright, we lost game one last time also in one games two and three. So, bringing in all our removal. We don't need our expensive planeswalkers. Don't want these Dreadhorde invasions. So, 62. Here, just cut two sabotages last time, but I don't know, sabotage has been looking good for us. I'm going to cut one with an insight. The insight just also being expensive. And again, if we lose this or sorry, if we win this and then we're going to be on the draw in game three, maybe we'll take out a sabotage for a duress to try to make it a little cheaper. I don't think Thought Erasure was going to really save us there. So yes, I could have... Could have activated during my turn and grabbed the Thought Erasure and Thought Erasure them, but I don't think that saved us uh, with them having the risk factor. If I cast the Thought Erasure, even if they don't have stuff, they get to just risk factor and I have to let them draw. And all they need to do is find a shock or anything like that. Like, we were probably dead to the risk factor if I didn't, like if I did have the Thought Erasure. I think I'm going to wait a turn and try to cry out of the Carnarium. If they have Light Up the Stage, we'll negate that. If they have Steamkin. I love Steamkin here. Basically because of Chain Whirler. I want to cry. I want to save Scorn for Chain Whirler. Ugh. Why do they keep doing that? Well, they keep doing that. Gonna have to find some removal here for these one ones, so I can start attacking in.
Just not feeling the reveals today. Just gonna be declining. Playing the inside on my turn instead so we can continue to hit land drops. I'll ditch one of these insights because whatever card they have in hand just doesn't really matter. When they have these risk factors. Really hoping for a land here, so I could have had the two negates up. That was the plan, is hit a land drop, have the double negate up. This plan's not going so well. That was that was my plan, the double negate. Didn't work out. Good news is it turns on my Thought Erasure again. Yeah, light up the stage, risk factor. There's just infinite, infinite gas. I really needed that other land drop so I could have the two negates. I guess it was just too... I guess it was too risky having that insight. Should have just waited. creatures. See if we can find any of our Enter the God Eternals. Also, we just need a fourth Enter the God Eternals. We just haven't haven't seen them at all yet. Draw three. Good. Not good. So close to dying, but we're not dead yet. All 
I just they got a brick. I got a brick here. I think they bricked. Let's see if we hit a negate here. I'm not killing their creature because if I if I try to shoot their creature then we don't gain the life we need to hit our own creature to gain the life I I th thought they may just use their firebrand to kill my Kefnet but they didn't all right they bricked for that turn clutch brick Play duress over thought erasure. I think I want to keep these sinister sabotages in. Thought erasure is like not taking a creature ever anyway. I just want the the cheaper spell. Yeah, I want all the counters and the cheaper spells. We stabilize. We need the counter spells. We got a bunch of removal in here with like all the sweepers and tyrant scorns and contempts. Yeah, we can take a light at the stage here before they can play it. It's really nice. Yep. Good job, Duress. And now we play as Kanta on two and have the Ascanta hit us land drops. Perfect, that's a land drop. This hand is just like really good. I mean, this is about as good as we can have Duress as Kanta and then Cry and then Kefnet and then enter the God Eternals. This hand has everything. Instant speed enter. This, how are we getting instant speed enter? It's not a land. With a copy from Kefnet? Are you talking about on as As Kanta doesn't draw the card, it puts it into your hand. You don't you don't trigger Kefnet off of Ascanta. Ugh. It's a good card. Dang it. Well, this is how we were gonna lose if we didn't hit land drops. So just throwing out this other Ascanta to Help fill the graveyard. Gosh. I mean, I guess I have to keep it because I have to counter this this risk factor next turn. That means we're taking one here, but we're countering the risk factor at least. No, that's our six card, so even if this is not a land, we get to flip the Ascanta. If we get to flip Ascanta and hit a land and then play Enter the God Eternals next turn, that's that's gold, and that's where we really want to be. All right.
right, so we're going to need double blue. So let's let's go graveyard. See if we hit it. Transform, hit the land drop still. Ugh, obviously, it's a shock land. It's always a shock land. Because we need we need one more card in the graveyard, so just taking the blast zone would not not have flipped our Ascanta also. No, we got rid of another Enter the God Eternals, unfortunately. Another risk factor. We got this 8-8 eight eight here. It's hitting them. Just need one negate. If I play the Kefnet, we could have lethal next turn. Oh wait, yeah, we have lethal next turn the other way. But the Kefnet like would give us the two lethal threats though. Let's stay at six. It's not so bad. Are we fine? Ritual of Set? Ugh. I'm really glad they blocked with the war boss. I did not want war boss making another another creature. Uh and the bane fire. Hey, what's up, Mr. Previously? So close. All those games are really close. Had like six really close games against Mono Red. It's possible we need our like the fourth Enter the God Eternals in the sideboard. It's a good chance that we should have the fourth one in there. I guess it would be over the other contempt in the sideboard would be another Enter the God Eternals. Let's play another match. The Banest of Fires. I'd kind of like to play against something else. These games are so close and nerve-wracking. Mm Hope -hmm. our opponent has a lot of discard spells. That's not a discard spell. Yeah, we could have Moment of Craving. That's true. Moment of Craving would really help. Hmm. 
This kills Krasis, but... So far, so good. Yeah, there are definitely ways we can make our mono red matchup better. Yeah, like mo Moment of Craving is a good one. Ugh. No. Stop. No land drop. So where it would have been perfect to hit Thought Erasure with a Kef net. So much for them being a little stuck on lands. into battle and make new comrades what a good mindless minion I don't know if I would have attacked previously but with the Liliana I want to draw the card not want not I thought I was gonna be trading and drawing a card of course but I guess not command the dread horde <laughs> your boldness is so I'll find a use for you later Can get a I can't really beat a a wilderness reclamation there, or sorry, a, a nexus of fate. I've learned much from your death. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. have infinite cards in hand. I have infinite cards in hand. We have to go into full control mode, I believe. To do that before blocks. Right. 
Yeah, they have infinite cards and infinite mana. Our opponent really is living the dream. They really are. All right, well, I discard a bunch of them. So I would have made this thing a 6-6 six, six, and been able to attack with the, the life-linking 6-6. Six, six. Putrid, but effective. I want to draw some cards. Anyway. Ugh. To be fair, I did. Yeah, see, like that turn, they got to cast a Krasis for seven and a Frilled Mystic and a Chemist's Insight. Like, like just so much. Sally's Diviner. So if I block with Kefnet, Liliana stays alive for a turn. You'll pay for that. Dead. I should have maybe made that a little different. Like a fun new toy. So there are nineteen cards in library.
smelly, but effective. Yeah, I could definitely have used a ritual of set. Ugh. But, okay, didn't matter. Alright, so they're a really big mana reclamation deck. Not a ton of... Not a ton of interaction, doesn't seem like. Thief of Sandy looks pretty good here. And I think I want Unmoored Ego. Or like Krasis, Command the... And... Endgame? Seems like that's basically all they have are Krasis and Endgame. They just draw draw them a lot of cards and everything. You know, the chemistry's inside and stuff too. Maybe I don't want on where to go. But taking Krasis out does look to be really, really good. Um not sold on Dreadhorde Invasion or Enter the God Eternals in this matchup. Yeah, I mean, definitely if we can get this out before Wilderness Reclamation, absolutely. I don't know if I'll have room for it, though, with playing everything else. Doesn't really look like it. I just gotta cut stuff. I shouldn't have cut Tyrant Scorn. That card's really good. I should have cut Contempt. Good job, Isop Sun. I don't like our hand at all with all these four drops. I should have cut Contempt, but even if it's two Tyrant Scorns, I don't really like it. It's definitely hoping for. Duress, Negate, Thought Erasure, Thief of Sanity. Those are the cards that I wanted to draw. Like that one in my opening hand, but I don't think this is a mulligan. Necessarily, but it's not the cards I want. Thought Rager's got to be like one of my very best cards. We didn't see one that entire last game where we went through. 20 some cards, I haven't seen it yet. Stupid Frilled Mystic. They just get to Chemistry's Insights. No, this is not Nexus. It's just blue green. Big mana stuff. Draw a land, we get to Thief plus Search. We do not, it's just Thief. Paradise Druid and Small Domery, you could fit Phoenix 
and Steel Leaf Champion in the same deck. Absolutely. You could fit those two cards in the same deck already. Um, like the Gruel Stompy that I played last format. Some had both of those cards. I was hoping for Frilled Mystic. That was a card I wanted to see off Thief of Sanity. Or something to get rid of a Krasis. They don't play a whole lot of removal. Yeah, Frilled Mystic would be nice. I just give them this other chemist's insight too. So basically, with them being at two, I would rather them cast a frilled mystic then cast the Chemister's Insight at this point. I don't want them to find a Krasis, for example. We just find a Frilled Mystic. Ritual kills my Thieva Sanity. But I think it's the only option we have. Problems I can't stop there, Frilled Mystic. Mystic is so good. I mean, this is all really re Wilderness Reclamation, letting him cast all these spells. Yeah, we're just dead. Gosh, Reclamation is so busted. People need to never complain about Nexus ever again. It's all Wilderness Reclamation. All right, well, we're two and two. Let's play one more. Try to break the tie here. See if we can go three, two. See if we can win one more, go 3 2. Hey, Zerf, going pretty good. We are trying out some of our different decks today in ranked again. Haven't played ranked in a little while. It was starting off good winning our first two, but we've lost our last two. Uh, 
side. No, no, they would not give out wild cards as a. They wouldn't. That's not something wizards would do. They would not give wild cards as compensation for a card being banned. Hey, awesome, John. Good job. Prowess. That's a card I wanted to find. Good job, Narset. Oh, they did they did that for Nexus though? Oh, they did give people mythic wild cards for Nexus? Oh never mind. I just didn't think wizards would do something like that, but I guess they did. My bad. But yeah, reclamation being this an uncommon, you wouldn't really need overwhelming. A wild card for that. This game's working out really well for us. Still at 19. Get to enter the God Eternals, this Chain Whirler the next turn. Like before, we're not milling our opponent because of risk factor. I'm the best fire starter there is. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. We're at a high enough life total. We'll just take we'll just take this, get Chandra out of here. Start getting Chandra out of here at least. Let's light it up. Yeah, keeping the Dread Horde invasion against Mono Red, because we're two away from making this a 6 6, so we can start having lifelink. This is obviously the worst case scenario right now. This was the worst case scenario. Yeah, I can just ditch it to the other side of Chemistry's Insight though. None of these other cards are gonna do anything. Let's look for a Contempt or another Sweeper. It's looking good for us, but then that last turn just really went horrible. That's a good card.
All right, Kefnet's going to go to the bottom of the library, basically, because we're probably going to be activating this as Kanta. Looking for Contempt. We drew another one. Worked out. This is just gonna be bad for you. Where is a contempt? No longer attack the Chandra. Got to find a contempt somewhere. Or not. If it was Frenzy, we would have been dead a super long time ago. At least it's Chandra, we have a chance. Like, we're, we're not dead yet. The Chandra's been out forever. We'd have no chance against Frenzy. We can at least find a Contempt and get rid of this thing. This game would have been over if it was Frenzy. Um, yeah, I guess we're going Narset minus. Seeing if I wanted to just have double sabotage. My prowess is unmatched by my peers. Meditate and prepare. There we go. I am out of here. Finally found it. I have just the trick for this. All right, that, that should be game. I mean, that is game. We got the double sabotage. What a good mindless minion. Yeah, we played against Bant Vanifar, three mono red, and a Simic creature reclamation deck. Definitely seem to be a lot of mono red around these days. I just don't play Thief. I'll play Thief over Thought Erasure. Yeah. Yeah, Lily's not too good against Monored because of the mana cost. By the time you get to six mana to play Liliana, which isn't always turn six, you don't always just hit your you know every single land drop, but by the time you get to six mana and make a 2-2, two -two, 
Uh, mono red will likely kill you by then. The only time Liliana really helps you win games is games that you've already stabilized and won. Kind of thing. That was a very good at light of the stage for us. Can't play either of those cards. Alright, three and two. Went two one against red. Uh one one two one against red and then one one against the other blue green decks. Hey what's up, Scario? Thank you very much for that Twitch Prime sub, sub number five on the day. Because I've been having fun with Mardu Aggro lately with a sacrifice theme that's really powerful. I'll have to share the donation deck soon. Keep the content coming. Yeah, that sounds that sounds pretty awesome. Definitely like to check that one out. So this deck felt pretty good. I liked this. Um, I think I did still like Liliana over Command the Dread Horde. Uh, I think that the card that I liked the least in our 75 here was Dread Horde Invasion. Seemed, this just seemed really, really slow. Just against Red, we didn't really want it. Even against the other decks, it was just really slow. I didn't really like this Dread Horde Invasion, which of course if we take out, if we already took out Command the Dread Horde and then we take out Dread Horde Invasion, we're not really a Dread Horde control deck anymore, it would just be a Demir deck. Um, as far as like replacing Dread Horde Invasion, it's, it's kind of tough if we play like Thieves Andes. Then that, that makes our sweepers worse. Um, yeah, Augur Bolus is, is a possibility. Yeah, Augur Bolus could be a possibility. I, I, I like that one. Yeah, this could be an Augur Bolus deck, honestly. Augur Bolus, you only get instant or sorcery, right? You don't get any non-creature spell. I don't remember. Yeah, it's in Center Sorcery. That could be a thing. Certainly make us worse against control decks, though, replacing Invasion with Bolas, Augur Bolas. It'd, it'd basically make us better against aggro, which, honestly, I feel like we're already pretty good against aggro, so maybe we just don't need that. Because we could play our, our fourth Enter the God Eternals in the sideboard, especially put all their stuff. We could have like things like duress negate main deck instead of invasion. I don't know. It wasn't like that bad. It just wasn't wasn't like a card I really wanted to draw very often. But Enter the God Eternals was great, so was Kefnet. Um Narsa was okay. Narsa did its thing. The counter magic was really, really good. Just Tyrant Scorn, Thought Erasure, Sinister Sabotage. Those cards are awesome. Yeah, that's it. All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, give it a try also. Let me know what you think of the Dread Horde invasions or uh, if there's something else that we should be doing there. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for another video.